Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's that time, it's tarot time with Cindy, my friends. I'm going to do a general collective reading. So it is general, it may or may not resonate. If it does, I'm glad we're able to connect. If it does not, hopefully the next time. I'm going to start with the archetype deck and we're going to get an idea about what's going on here for you. And then I'm going to get into the tarot of positive clarity. Well, whoever you're dealing with is a student in reverse. It's arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge, unwillingness to unwillingness to translate knowledge into action. So this person knows something and they don't do anything about it. It's really interesting. That's who they are. Okay. Who are they pretending to be? A liberator. Freeing themselves and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thoughts and patterns. They're pretending to be that. Wow, this is very interesting. This is somebody that has access to some type of information. This person may intentionally pursue knowledge that can be destructive. And they will not translate what they learn into actions. It's also very interesting. So, I don't know, there could be something here like this person could learn bad things, but they don't necessarily do anything with that as well. We're going to see how this develops. But they're kind of pretending to be somebody that helps to liberate other people. Maybe themselves releasing negative thought patterns. Why? Why do they pretend to be this? Child wounded in the reverse blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Resist moving on through forgiveness. Well, that's very interesting. Okay. How does this affect you in a relationship that you have with this person? Warrior in the reverse. Trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. Wow, this feels like a bit of a tense, intense relationship. What's the advice for you? Okay, you have visionary in the reverse. Selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. <laughs> That's your advice. Maybe in dealing with somebody, maybe it's in dealing with this person. Like compromise what you know to, things to be to make it more acceptable. Probably more acceptable to this person so that you're not like ruffling feathers. Okay, what's the outcome here? If you follow, Okay, you get judged in the reverse. It's interesting. Offering only destructive criticism. Misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. What the hell is this? <laughs> How do you feel about this person? It's in the reverse too. Father in the reverse. Dictorial, dictorial control. Abuse of authority. Whoa, this, this is hot. <laughs> so hot little reading here. Um, some of you, this could be your father. Some of you, this could be someone who is a father. Mm, it doesn't have to be. But it's, do you think that this is somebody who is a bit of a dictator and they abuse their authority? Oh, that's interesting. You have teacher in the upright and gossip in the reverse behind that networker, hero, king. Gossip in the reverse. Thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. But then it's teacher in the upright. Ability to communicate. Oh, it's interesting. Because this person is student in the reverse. Ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. So maybe this is what you are. Like maybe you're, you could actually be a teacher or you could be someone who has a lot of information and you help people grow and develop through that. And this is someone who's like, I ain't going to fucking learn. <laughs> okay. I ain't going to all right then <laughs> sit with this for a second before i even put any tarot out this person this person could be pursuing information that's not the best thing for them to pursue they're they're it says arrogant i want to say there's even like a bit of ir ignorance in that but i guess probably mostly arrogance and then what they learn they, i don't know it says, well, 
knowledge into action? Do they learn? Well, then that's also interesting because if I say, right, that this is someone who is pursuing destructive knowledge, I want to say like that could be like the gossip card in the reverse. So this person, this person could want to, but why? Because this is, I'm not really asking about you. I mean, there's a few points in this reading where I'm asking about you, like how this affects you in a relationship. What is the advice for you? How do you feel about this person, right? Like I want to be able to cement you into this too, into this energy. Because, but I'm pretty much asking about someone else. Yesterday, I kind of did you guys. So I thought, well, today, let me ask about an energy outside of you. So I don't, I kind of feel like this is this person. I mean, maybe I was, maybe this is you. And the underlying, but it's not really meant to be. Could have been you in the past. Because the and underlying is past for me. Or, sorry, it could have been them in the past. This person could have had a destructive knowledge going on around them. It's almost like this person has gone down a bad road. Or this person refuses to become the student. This is someone who only teaches. I will not, I have nothing to learn here. There's nothing that I need to learn. Because th honestly, these should both be interchangeable. I mean, we can all learn and grow from each other in different ways. But this is kind of like, no, I don't have anything to learn here. And I'm going down a bad road that's not necessarily the best road to go down. And I'm doing that because I'm going to liberate everybody. I'm going to make you think I'm liberating everybody here. I'm freeing myself. I'm freeing others. Why are they pretending to liberate? Because all dysfunctional relationships are because of childhood wounds. I'm not going to move on and I can't forgive. Hmm. And right, how this affects you, it almost like it feels like it forces you to trade ethical principles for victory at any cost. Or it feels like you're pushed into that direction. Or this person is that. I want to say it's probably like this is how it affects you. Well, yeah. There, there's something going on here like it's hurting some something is hurting someone and I don't know it's not known is that hurt happening to you is this person in some sort of hurt somebody wants to win at any cost I don't care if it hurts anybody I'm cool with it So what you should do, so <laughs> selling, selling insights to the highest bidder. It's funny because it's the visionary. I kind of want to say whatever insight you have. I don't know, maybe in some way, maybe you are a teacher, but it's almost like to make money off of this. <laughs> like, in, well, I don't know how that would come across to make money off of this. Compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. I, I kind of want to say maybe more acceptable to this person so it doesn't feel like you're going to have to trade your your own principles here. You could be dealing with somebody who needs to win at any cost. They don't care who they hurt along the way. So let's all just pretend <laughs> when we're dealing with them that, you know, that... Uh, Oh, yeah, then the outcome. Oh, oh, now I get it, right? Okay, it's judging the reverse, offering only destructive criticism. Okay, and wh who is this person? Arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. <laughs> Give them what they want. 
give them give this person what they want. <laughs> Whoa, this is very interesting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's giving them what they want. But I don't know. Be careful. Like misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. What the, like, what is that? I don't know if that, like, actually relates in some way. But you definitely, you're going to, you're going to kind of say whatever this person wants to hear. All right. <laughs> say whatever this person wants to hear. You're going to give them the destructive knowledge that they want. And this per because you, well, and that's interesting because you think that this person abuses authority. They're controlling. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, yeah, okay. <laughs> See the tarot. All right, let's see where this goes. This is very interesting. <laughs> Okay, who they really are. Oh, see the strength card. Um, they got a lot. They got a lot of destruction in their mind. Isn't that right? Like the angels are trying to get into this person's head. It's almost like the angels are trying to get into this person's head. They have a lot of storms. barbed wire their thinking is really solidified but it doesn't feel like it's solidified in a good way this person may even seek okay so well this person may this person may say that they're looking for advice sometimes but they may actually just want someone to confirm what they already believe in their head so, right, like if you're not telling them what they want to hear, then they don't want to hear it. <laughs> that. Pretending to be the chariot, the liberator. Like this, okay, whatever negative thought patterns, okay, whatever negative thought patterns this person has had, because that looks like a negative thought pattern. And releasing the like right releasing these negative thought patterns that was that's what they're pretending to do with the chariot like moving forward there could be like some something emotional here something emotional or they might look like everything so they might look like everything is okay emotionally so you might think oh okay this person isn't you know thinking well, I don't know that you would think that. <laughs> I don't know that you would think that this person has stopped uh, thinking in a negative way or pursuing destructive information. I just that's, I just find that interesting, right? Like pursuing destructive information and then the gossip card. I mean, that's almost to me, it feels like, right? Like <coughs> passing on private or secret information about people, betraying confidences. I don't know who this is, but I, I kind of want to agree with spirit. <laughs> You just tell this person what they want to hear. And let them go with that. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm the asshole. Yes, I am. I know, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, why they hide their two selves? Oh, oh my God, the nine of wands with the child wounded card in the purse. There's a deep wound here that this person won't look at. If this person is like your parent, I kind of want to say that they may just, I don't know, like if they treat you like shit or this person just doesn't grow themselves, 
you know, it's kind of interesting, the relationship between like parent and child, because eventually the child becomes an adult and eventually the, the adult child can look at things with the perspective and without the naivety of a child <laughs> go, oh, my parents a little bit fucked up, aren't they? So I don't know, this might be, you know, something like that for you here. Uh, because there would definitely be that, like a teacher-student relationship between a parent and a child. And maybe that is kind of like you may have gotten here to the age where you can see. You see that there's something not right here, that there's something dysfunctional. Oh, but this person won't move on. It's kind of like, well, my parents treated me like shit, so I'm going to treat you like shit. And this is how it goes, honey. <laughs> no. They're pretending this wound. They can't. They can't get past a wound here. This person is not able to get past a wound. Might be in their own childhood. Might be a wound that they did to you. Might be a wound that they did to you. Particularly if this is a parent. If this is a parent, it might be a wound that they inflicted on you. And they don't want to admit it. That they, they're damaged and they're hurt. Oh, and how this affects you. Boy, the Six of Swords. Boy, it gets in your head. When you're going in the right direction, it's kind of, I feel it because, right, the Six of Swords is spirit showing us the right direction to go and kind of give it up to God, give it up to, but there's all these, you get all these thoughts in your head, like, oh. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's the wrong thing to do. Don't go in that direction. Right, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who doesn't have any ethics. They don't care how they hurt you because that's all part of the pattern. <laughs> that's just part of the pattern. That's just how it goes. So even when you're trying to go in the right direction, I mean, you can't without this person being in your head. Or maybe in your face even. Sure. Advice for you, visionary, in the reverse. Tell them whatever the fuck they want to hear. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse. That's interesting because the Four of Pentacles mm, in the reverse is this person might want to know. How do I say it? Okay. There's a couple of, I'm going to clarify that. There's a couple of ways the Four of Pentacles in the reverse can come out. Um. It can, it can signify like a business going under, bankruptcy, things like that. I can also talk about like energetically, it can be going from an enclosed state, like closing off and protective to opening up. So I want to clarify that. But, you know, if this person, maybe this person like is arrogantly pursuing some type of destructive knowledge here and nobody can tell them otherwise. And this destructive knowledge... I don't know, it could it could end up being bad for them financially. So then, right, then you get the judge in the reverse. Wow, the queen of pentacles. I mean, that's the outcome. So offer the destructive criticism. Misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. Like, do you have, or are you calling this person out on doing that? Huh. How do you feel about this person? The Knight of Cups? <laughs> That's odd. The Knight of Cups. How does that go with the father in the reverse? Dictatorial control, abuse of authority. Well, I want to say this one thing with this knight, it's not moving. I mean, I think it's one of the very few tarot decks where the knight of cups is not moving. The knight of cups and swords are kind of like, they're moving, right? Well, they're all kind of moving. <laughs> Some are moving at different speeds than others. This one's not moving. So you might want to say, okay, because to look at that with this father card in the reverse, you might think that this person is maybe emotionally manipulative and that's how you see them. That's how you feel about this person. This person is emotionally manipulative. This person doesn't share their feelings. 
This person doesn't move with their feelings. Oh yeah, they pretend. They pretend like they are moving with their feelings. Tell them what they want to fucking hear. <laughs> just like literally. You can't win with this person. So just yeah, tell them what they want to hear. Yeah, you're all you're good. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You know, I can't help but feel like this person like kind of has everything. I mean, that would be really shitty too. If this person also it also looks like this person might have like, I don't know, a lot of resources, a, a lot of abundance. Maybe this person gets that. By pursue like looks for things about people that they can use against them in some way. This is a really I feel like I need to sage my broom after this. But hey, it is what it is. I just, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna tap into. Okay. All right, this person. The Knight of Swords. They go off half cocked in the pursuit of destructive information. What, are, what is this person trying to find? What? I need a different card. Here, a different deck. I'm going into the tea leaf oracle. Look at that. What have we got on the bottom there? Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. What destructive information is this person mostly after? Basket. Recognition, reward for merit. Temporary situation. And peacock, beware of great pride. Okay, this person could be interested in information where other people are getting some type of recognition. They're being rewarded in some way. And this could be at a time where the person is feeling kind of like proud about their accomplishment. Not the, the person we're reading, like who information that is destructive that this person looks for. I feel like they'd like to find Okay, so if we think about something that somebody feels proud about, a lot of times it's because, well, they've accomplished something. They have accomplished something, and they, <clears throat> I think a lot of times we feel proud about the things that we put a lot of work into, you know, uh, we put a lot of work into. It could also be something that we have overcome. So, you know, we're like, I'm really proud of myself for doing that. But it's almost like this person maybe looks at it as um, a weakness, and I could see that because the things that we're proud about, um, it's probably because of overcoming some type of a weakness or obstacle or great challenge. So if the, I don't know if this person tries to find information. Tries to find information where they could bring that person's pride down. Make, I don't know. I don't know who this is. Okay. Why they, who they, they're pretending to be a, a liberator here. The Ace of Cups came out like, right, like reversed. Yeah, with the chariot. There's something emotionally going on with this person because like we got a lot of emotional cards coming out here with the chariot and the ace of cups. And then, but then it says, right, releasing negative thought patterns. There's something between this person's thoughts and feelings. 
this person could also be, I would not put it past this energy that I'm picking up. They could also be the type of person who would like be right there. I'm going to clap. I'm going to applaud you. Good for you. Great accomplishment. That's so great. And then they would literally also be the person that would show up and they would pick everything apart about that. But they would probably do it in almost like a gaslighting manner. Like they would gaslight you on this. Wow. If, if it is a parent even. I want to say, like, if it's a parent and maybe you've accomplished something that they, they never could accomplish, um, I kind of want to say that this person might pretend in front of everybody else, I'm so proud of you, this is so great. And then, like, behind closed doors or in private, you know, it's time to poke at that wound. You know, you could never have done that without me. Even if you think that you've healed, if it wasn't for the wounds that I gave you, <laughs> it's no like this person. <laughs> okay. If it wasn't for the wounding that I caused, where would you be? Where would you be? Okay, why they pretend to be this? Child wounded in the reverse, nine of wands. They're not healing. This person won't heal. You know what? My family did this to me. My grandparents did this to my parents. And my parents did this to me. And I'm going to do it to you. <laughs> Don't know. The hanged man, who they pretend to, wow, like they know what's going on. <laughs> like this, this person, they, they, why? Well, they're trying to, okay, they might be, they might be, because it's not what they're pretending. It's why are they pretending? They're pretending like they're going to liberate people. And why do they pretend to liberate people? Well, because there's wounds here, and you know what? These really don't get fixed. They're long term. I see the wounds. <laughs> I see the wounds everywhere. That I, how the how this affects you? Oh God's sakes! <laughs> Six of Swords with the Warrior in the reverse. Temperance, taking a breath, <laughs> taking a breath, being patient, taking a breath and being patient. alchemizing trying to alchemize maybe i don't know any lesson that this person has tried to teach you in life getting rid of the little goblins and ghouls why do you have to because there's a, I'm like why do you have to there's a part of me here that feels a little bit like some of you i want to clarify this might be waiting for this person to get better i i don't know <laughs> It's a temperance card. The two of wands. Well, you could be, okay. I want to say, no, I don't think so. I feel like you got, uh, how this affects you in relationships is you're being patient and waiting to go in good directions here. You're waiting to go in better directions. You're trying to think about and focus on your future. And that's good. That's good. And I, but it's, really difficult because I feel like you're doing that amidst, you know, dealing with someone who doesn't really have any ethical principles and they don't care who the fuck they hurt. Shit me. All right. Yeah. There's four pentacles in the reverse. I want to see this advice to you. Oh, the six of wands. Oh, that's good. It's like, tell them what they want to hear. Selling insight to the highest bidder. Compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. All right, wait, no, this came out. Okay, the ten, the ten of swords, the king of cups. Oh, the five of cups, the tower, and the three of swords. well i don't know this almost looks like like if this is your compromising your vision you're changing it's kind of like just saying well things really don't get better no they don't <laughs> things don't get better things don't get better things won't get better because that doesn't get better <laughs> it doesn't get better that is 
betrayal, finding yourself as an emotional rock in a during betrayal or coming out on the other side of it, feeling really sad about how things work or worked out. And then the tower in the three of swords, though, that's like all of it falls apart and really just looking at it for what it is. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe looking at this person is possibly refusing to look at something. <laughs> Think. But this could be compromising a vision. Vision, Like, you know, you could you could be possibly trying to be optimistic around this person or in this person's life or in your own life. And this person is like, mm -hmm. Uh, everything is bad. Nothing's going to work out. But that would be with you because there's something about like this person makes it like, yeah, everything's better. Everything's good. Tell them what they want to hear. Tell them that it's just going to be sad. <laughs> and then offering only destructive criticism. That is the outcome here. Or the Queen of Pentacles. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Maybe you, maybe you guys are married to this person because the father is a little bit like the King of Pentacles. Let go. The King of Cups is also kind of like the father. Yeah. Oh, jeez, the King of Swords. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. This could be taking somebody to court, but I don't like the way that's going because <laughs> it's it's in the reverse. I still feel, feel like it's telling this person what they want to hear. How are you miss... Okay, the outcome. Misusing business legal or criminal authority. The Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles here. Well, let's look at that. Well, I'll look at it in a minute. Sorry. I still want to look at the Father Knight of Cups. Father in Reverse, Knight of Cups. This, I don't know. This could be like taking some type of legal action on someone. Maybe for a house? Maybe for some type of assets? And it could be if this person has been misusing authority. It's, I mean, with the King of Swords in the upright, that is correcting that. Tell this person what they want to hear and then maybe take some type of legal action is possibly what I see here. The father in the reverse. How do you feel about this person? Oh my gosh. The high priestess. Well, no, it's interesting. The nine of wands in reverse and the nine of swords. The nine of wands in the reverse is somebody who's not really getting past a wound here. Because it's the nine of swords. I want to say it's almost like you have a feeling about this person. <laughs> like you... But you have a feel, how you feel about this person, that this person has a wound that can't be healed. They have a lot of dark thoughts. The Knight of Cups, why is the Knight of Cups here? It's in the upright. Oh my gosh. The Magician in the Reverse and the Page of Pentacles. Oh my God. Do you think that this person, oh, if this is like um, a parent thing here, I want to say that you think that the, that the, um, this person, if they are a father and if they very well could be, that this person is an, emo emo an emotional manipulator. The Magician in the Reverse is not good. And we're talking like we have the Queen of Pentacles, Pentacles here and the father card. Is this child doing some type of manipulate? Is this person doing some type of manipulation through the child? Are they trying to manipulate 
through the child. Like maybe if you have like custody with this person, or maybe if you're, you could even still be in a relationship with this person the way that this, this has come out. Like just tell them what they want to hear right now. Just tell them what they want to hear. Don't tell them what you're really doing. I, and you could be maybe getting ready to take some type of legal action. You know, because you could still be in the same house with someone. And this person could still be, you know, trying to manipulate the child, maybe trying to manipulate the child against you, or I don't know. I want to say, I don't feel like you have good feelings about this person. Oh, yeah. Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. To me, it looks like it's somewhere, this person had everything. It looks like this person had everything. The Nine of Cups. The Seven of Cups. So it looks like they had everything but didn't know it. The Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Knight of Cups. What's in reverse? Yeah. Something happened here. Maybe something didn't. Something may have looked like it was everything, but it really wasn't under the surface. And then something happened out of, you know, unexpected, out of people's control that actually brought the type of the what the manipulation that was going on, it brought it out. So, so yeah. Something may have looked like it was everything or someone had everything here, but that was that's an that was an illusion. And then some something occurred here that no one expected to happen or and that sort of exposed some type of emotional manipulation that was going on. Wow, <laughs> something else. The lovers at the bottom. I don't know where that <laughs> that came from. That could have been yeah, it could have been uh could be someone you had a relationship with? Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through the extended. In the extended, what is this person's hidden agenda towards you? Oh, my. <laughs> that be interesting. And what are their deepest thoughts about you? So that would be interesting. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves and sage. <laughs> Bye.